complex fraction is a fraction whose numerator and denominator contains other fractions. And what we want to do is simplify some complex fractions. The first one I have here is 1 plus 1 over a divided by 1 minus 1 over a. One, one way that uh, to simplify a complex fraction is to simply look for, at the denominators of all the small fractions that you see and multiply the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by that least common denominator. So I see I have a least common denominator of a. I'm going to multiply this numerator by a and this denominator by a. So I've multiplied the numerator and denominator by the same amount. I haven't changed the value. a times 1 is a. a times 1 over a is 1. In the denominator, a times 1 is a minus a times 1 over a is 1. And there's the simplified version of my original complex fraction. And I did it by finding the least common denominator for all the small fractions, multiplying the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by that expression. For this um, complex fraction right here, it's actually easier to think in terms of division. It's this rational expression divided by this rational expression. So I'm going to rewrite this as x minus 5 over x squared minus 4 times the reciprocal of this, which is x plus 2, over x squared minus 25. So division by this rational expression is the same as multiplication by its reciprocal. Now I simply do my factoring. Here's my x minus 5 times x plus 2 when I multiply. In the denominator, x plus 2, x minus 2, and here x plus 5, x minus 5. And I look for common factors. x minus 5 divides out with x minus 5. x plus 2 divides out with x plus 2. What's left in the numerator is 1. And in the denominator, x minus 2 times x plus 5. So in this case, it was easier to think of in terms of division and then multiply by the reciprocal. Let's look at another example in which we do this multiplication of the numerator and denominator by that least common denominator again. If I check all the small fractions here, I'll see my least common denominator is a squared. So I'm going to multiply this numerator by a squared and this denominator by a squared. When I do that, I have a squared times 2, which is 2a squared a squared times 5 over a, which is 5a, and then a squared times 3 over a squared, which is 3. That will all be divided by a squared times 2, which is 2a squared, a squared times 5 over a, which is minus 5, and a squared times 2 over a squared, which is 2. Now what I have to do is factor the numerator and denominator and divide out any factors they have in common. So 2a and a, and then let's see, how about 3 and 1? Inside I have 1a, outside 6a, they differ by 5a. Make that positive and that negative. In the denominator, let's see what we have, 2a and a, and how about 1 and 2? And let's see, they'll both be negative. Inside is 1a, outside is 4a, that gives me negative 5a. Okay, so I see I have this factor in common. When I reduce to lowest terms, a plus 3 over a minus 2. So a couple of different ways to simplify some complex fractions.